Masonry blade. Now I've got a custom, it's an A-shaped block, shaped just like an A, well, capital A. It's a capital A block. And that's the only custom block we'll need for the whole project. Now to build this rocket stove, you need one block like that. Then we take our custom block, the one I just cut, Stack it like that. Then you take a third block. These blocks are all used. That one's got a little bit of mortar on it. I'm gonna put it right here. And then your fourth and final block. Put it right there. Now as an added bonus, I have this off of an old grill and it's about the same size as a block. Slightly bigger, but it's about as close as you're gonna get. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build a little fire in that chamber, the little chamber right here. It's gonna be a fire in this. And then the heat rises, pulls the air out, pulls new air in. Now these rocket stoves are great during a crisis. If you've got no power, you need to Boil some water. If you can find four blocks, you can build these. Rocket stove. I guess we better go grab, grab some firewood and some matches. So if I walk out and look under the pick tree, these little sticks like this, these are perfect. Dry. They're gonna be easy to light. So in about five minutes, I picked up about this many sticks. I got some boards. And I've got some little oak wood. I've got a box that we can start the fire with. And I've got an old pot. This pot has been retired. We, never, we don't use it in the kitchen anymore. I'm going to use that to boil my water. I've got another pot. That might be my seat. And i got another little pot. So uh, I'm going to see if we can boil some water. How long it takes to boil water on the rocket stove. Let's get started. I might even throw a little, don't get in front of the camera. I might even throw a little bit of moss in there. See what happens when moss goes in. Can that go in? That can go in. Okay. And these go in? Okay, so I got this little bundle of kindling. I'm gonna try to lay this in there and put a match right underneath it. We'll call that my kindling bundle. So we take my match. Put it right underneath them sticks. This might be more fun than my parabolic solar cooker. I mean, might be. This is even more fun than my parabolic solar cooker. Click here if you want to see my parabolic solar cooker. Can 
doing that good? You are doing that good. The flames all? Down here Ooh. under the pot, you can see the flames. Oh! Well, I need to build some spacers that would get the grill up a little bit. Because once you take that pot out of the way, that's when it really starts to flow when you really get some good flames. So if I had something to hang a pot above it, that would be the trick right there. You make some metal spacers that would hold that grating up about three inches. No, look what I did. It's too I hot look. for my hand. I look. look at that water boiling. Metal spacers coming up next. Okay, so I went and found these little two little angle irons. I wanted something a little bit taller. If I would have had two of these, a matching set of those, that would have been better. But we can use these. I'm gonna put this and that under each ends of the grill. And now for the moment I've been waiting on. And that is what I'm talking about. Not update.